All right, so I'm getting started replacing the radiator support. Um, as you can see, this part has been bent up pretty bad. Um, obviously, I haven't started off showing the process of breaking the front end down. I'm sure that you can find other videos on that. Um, but I wanted to get to this radiator support because this vehicle has been in a front end accident and it kind of twerked a lot of the radiator support. And as you can see on this side, if anybody has any type of radiator support experience, you would know that there's tack welds that you have to remove. Um, I have not done that on this side. And believe it or not, it actually kind of looks like these tack welds are almost separated. Um, maybe from this side right there. I can tell that it's a little bit, it's still attached, but it's being pretty flexible right now. But um, on the other side, all of the supports have been removed already. Um, I did not do this. Somebody had already come in and taken out a lot of those welds. And from what I'm looking at and just trying to guesstimate, it looks like they kind of did half the job, maybe just to align this side. And then they bolted it without even welding it over here. So this whole side was just loose and flailing around everywhere. Um, and I can tell right here, this was pushed back a little bit. Um, one thing I did notice when I first got the vehicle is that this part of the frame had been bent inward, obviously from a front end impact, but that frame has already been kind of repositioned and they did not go along with the radiator support change. But what I'm doing today is removing these welds right here. And this is my first time removing anything like that, so that might turn out to be kind of fun. But um, I need to remove that so that I can get the radiator support off. I'm gonna have to remove some tack welds at least. I, I don't think all of them are there, but I will have to remove some on this side. So I might record a little bit of that, but as far as I can tell, it looks like most of it has been done already. So this might come out kind of scarily easily on my part, but that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just removing everything off the radiator support, including the radiator, um, the AC core. Um, there's a carbon filter back here. Um, but yeah, I gotta get the radiator removed. Um, and everything off the radiator support, which won't take very long. And then my next step will be to remove the radiator support, which I could probably show a video of that once I get to it. But, so I'm gonna get started with them. So what I'm noticing is there are some pretty bad welds right in here. This is the radiator support, and then this is where the radiator support is supposed to be onto. And then there's some pretty bad welds right here as well. And I believe I have everything taken off of the radiator support other than the radiator support to the frame bolts, which are just about to come out. But everything else, I believe, is now removed. I'm at that part. I'm going to try and set the camera up. If I can't do this properly without getting sparks all over the camera, then I'm probably not going to show this part. But again, I'm removing these welds and these welds in here. And that seems like the only thing holding the support on other than these two bolts I got to take out. And I'm going to do that and I'll get started on this. So I also had to show this was one of the signs. Actually, this was, I think, the first sign that this had been in a wreck was me seeing this. And I'm surprised it didn't completely fuck up the radiator. But it's, like, bent inward on this bracket. I might have to bend that out to get that to fit. There's, like, hooks on this bracket that mount to the side of the radiator. But these hooks hold it up, and then you just bolt 
four bolts in. There was only two bolts holding this in, just so everybody knows. up and then try to tilt it back. Okay. 
So, this is pretty marred up. There's not a whole lot of surface to weld on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean up all this stuff. I don't even know what this is. This looks like a, I don't know, maybe like glue or something. Take these out of here. These were done. So is my glove. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, that one is fucked. I feel like that's about to break in my hand. That's pretty rusty. Um, but yeah, this is Forerunner, 1990, 1999 Forerunner SR5 V6 automatic with radiator support taken out. Really glad I'm doing this repair because that was very much needed. I could do my timing. <laughs> Alright, so I've been working on this all morning. Uh, I decided to go ahead and get the timing done while I was here. And I had pulled the cover off a little bit a while ago when I was on the intake. And yeah, timing definitely needs to be done. I was told about that when I bought the vehicle, but I've got the whole set, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in here and replace the timing now. I also want to point out that right in here where the water pump is, I've got green coolant, but definitely looks like it may have been leaking. And I think it was leaking down here and dripping off onto the ground. So, yeah. Glad I'm changing the water pump. Cause yeah, I see it. You may not be able to see in the camera, but right, right in there, I can kind of see a little bit of leakage. So. Or it may have just been leaking a little bit. I've got this at top dead center and I will need to get a holding tool to hold that crankshaft in place. And then I'll need to get a tool to hold those cams in place so that I can remove those. Because yeah, next is to get this taken off so I can get this bottom cover out. And once I do that, I will have complete access to take the timing off. Okay, I had to stop yesterday because I needed some tools for crank and camshaft. 
but sorry, just getting this set up for future shoot. Anyway. So my next step is, I already sort of started on this, but cleaning up this metal to get the rust off. And again, these are like really horrible. There's a lot of metal lost. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to get all this rust off and try to level that out. And then tomorrow I should be getting, I had to buy all brand new polyurethane bushings for the whole vehicle because I could not find for a good price or quickly enough um, just the ones for the radiator support and they were the older type anyway um, so I just got a whole brand new set and that'll be here on Saturday so I think that's basically when I'm gonna be tack welding this all in a Saturday but I'm making sure to get these surfaces cleaned up first and then once the timing gets here, I can just go ahead and finish that and then wait until tomorrow. So I'll show you a little bit of this. This is pretty cleaned up on this side. Sorry, I can't really see the camera all that well. But, gotta do a little bit more. Try to get it a little bit more flattened out. But, I think on this section, I am going to be removing this just right, right about here. Because this metal's just so screwed up. It's not gonna hold it at all. And that's kind of what it looked like even when they put it all back together. Right here, I gotta try and figure out how these line up with the bushings when the radiator supports in. Because I think that side is a little bit off from here. It's not like too, too bad. But that is definitely slightly off alignment. If anything, this side either needs to come in or that side needs to go out a little bit to line up with these bushing spots. Okay, well, I was in the middle of cleaning, but I realized that I'm gonna have to use that radiator support to see if everything is lined up. And this is just with it sort of clamped on right now. But yeah, that <laughs> already looks better. And I haven't even welded it in yet, but I'm still going to have to wait on uh, these bushings for right in here uh, before I go to do all this installation because I'm going to have to align all of this up. It's got a little bit of ways to go, but i got to line all that up and make sure that it's all in there straight. There's a little piece missing under here that I had to pull out wasn't even a part, oh my gosh. It just, it's crazy to think how this was before I took it apart. But, it looks like everything's lining up pretty decently. But, I'm gonna get to some more cleaning up. Like I said, I still gotta do the timing before I get to welding this up, but it's looking a lot better. I haven't even installed it yet. I have been practicing a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, it's on the other side. Practice a tiny bit on these welds. Um, and yeah, like, 
pretty easily this stuff can burn through the metal. So I learned pretty quickly what to set my uh, my uh, wire speed at. So I can just, you know, I'm not going to make continuous beads like this. This is just me practicing. But then I actually cut off these brackets from the other side. Um, and just kind of welded them in place just for practice. And honestly, <laughs> just with the little bit that I did, really shitty job I did. Hold on, let me see if that'll focus. No, it's not one to focus that close. But... Even with the shitty job I did, this bracket's staying on here pretty good. I I bet I could break that off, but that's just a couple of little tack welds that I did. But this is my practice. What I had gotten to was this was the first thing I had to do. So over on this side, there's a bumper for the hood to sit onto the radiator support, and this one was missing. So I just took a plate and welded it right over that. So now, there's a stop for that on this side. And then, I'm trying to line up these pieces. This was the next step, is I did decide just to take or cut this part out. And I've got another piece that I'll show you here in a second to replace these paneling pieces. But, there is a nut that holds the fender onto the body. This nut right here. And these two pieces on each side, this one's the driver's side, the other one was the passenger side. Um, they were, they just broke off basically. They weren't, this one wasn't even holding anything on the driver's side. It was completely separated, but it was still there to hold everything together. Um, that I measured out half-acidly. This is a thick, thicker sheet of metal. Um, this probably isn't gonna work all that well, but I've got, I cut off the last nut off the other piece and tack welded it onto here so that I can put this underneath. I can show you over here. So this would face down and it would set right in here and then this body piece comes forward, it's sort of hard to they could show an example with one hand but I lined up that bolt and then tack welded that on there. So I'll kind of show you what I did for that over here on this side, that's what I'm about to get to. So, all right, so I'm about to cut the nut off of that piece of metal that's in the vise, and I'm keeping it back so it doesn't hit the camera, but that's what we're doing. So I cleaned 
this piece of metal with a wire brush just a second ago. Um, that darker piece right there was in the vise, so I'm going to flip it over and clean that. But I'm going to cut it down to length. I put a pencil mark right there. And then I'm going to drill a hole where it needs to be. I'll line that up here in a second. And then I'll show you tack welding that nut onto this plate. All right, you guys are about to have some fun watching me freehand drill a hole in this piece of metal. Because I don't really have any decent way of doing it. Okay, so unfortunately I didn't show a whole lot of the process, but um, I got these brackets weld in uh, with this bolt going in. This is what's going to hold the fender on. It may not even be lined up at this point, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, I got both brackets welded on. Um, right now it even feels pretty sturdy, but I'm going to go ahead and tack weld um, this onto here. And then I'm going to tack weld down the back, kind of how I saw it done before me. Um, I'm going to go around the whole thing though. I'm not going to leave any spots open, so I might have to be doing a little bit of hammering on these parts to meet them up with the back of the radiator support. But yeah, I just got to weld these on, weld the back ends on, and then at that point I will probably torque down these after I'm done getting welded but after that I should be good to go to get everything else put back on so okay I gotta make this quick because it's getting cold as fuck outside but I got it done got the bumper back on surprisingly it's being held on by some zip ties as well as the bottom of the fenders but it actually is lining up a lot better than what it did before I started the repair um, and I think I could put some before and after pictures in this spot to show you. Um, I could not well or record a lot of the process because I just needed to get some stuff done but I have the radiator support welded in now and it's doing so much better. The steering even feels better with those new bushings in. I got to go and do the rest of the uh, bushings around the rest of the body but Honestly, I am happy with this job. I did the timing, so the timing is set for a while. God, I'm so happy with this. Such a great job. Even if the frame was off a little bit. But anyway, there you go, guys.